previously on the Novimpia channel. And coming up... I find you very rude. <laughs> the Novimpia channel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get early access, exclusive content and buyer's remorse and a concealed areola to our brand new patrons Chris Hater, Chris F, Martin Borsky, Tyler Gallant, Xander Snow, Salem Adge, John and Nevo Riley. Start the shit show. Oh, hey, Ellie Damon, she's going on Coach Chapa's well, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was Lawrence Cheney. I'm not sure what that was. Ah, hello there. Welcome to this Novimpia presentation, or as I like to call it, Tit Hour. First of all, before we get things cracking, um, I just want to say thank you for the uh, great reaction to the Ask a Mortician Caitlin Doty parody. I'm wearing the Clue t-shirt because there were so many comments on that video asking where I got it from. So I did leave a comment, I pinned a comment, but because Caitlin reacted to it, she left the sweetest message, I'll, I'll put it up here. You can't possibly hope to get as good a kind of response as that. Like what a sweet message that she left, love that. So thanks Caitlin. A really low pitched fart. I did leave a, a pinned comment about where I got this from, but I, I switched it and pinned hers, because obviously. So this is from a place called Foreign Fright. So I'll, I'll throw up the website here, I'll put the link in the uh, description, but they only do limited printing. They do very, very similar. They're all kind of like horror-ish prints that they do on long and short sleeve tees but they only do them for a limited amount of time and then they switch on to something else. So chances are you can't get this anymore, I'm not sure, but anyway, you can have a look. And they're on Instagram, you can nag them, maybe they'll do like a reprint of it, but that's the Clue t-shirt, it's so cute. And I'm sure I have no idea what I'm doing here or what this place is about, but I am determined to enjoy myself. And oh my, this soup's delicious, isn't it? <sighs> Looking at a breastplate today, we were given, we were sent a message from a company a while ago and they said, would you like to review a breastplate? <laughs> Obviously, I have never needed one per se. Read into that what you will. But we were just like, yes, Nova's got absolutely nothing there. So we'll give it a go. And it might just kind of like elevate Nova's drag because Lord knows she needs it. So she picked one that was in her coloring and her size and she wears it all the time now and it's really, really good. But we kind of thought to ourselves now, I wonder what that would be like if you were to translate it. How does it work with like a great big bird? Because I'm very, very tall and very, very broad. How would that work? Because we've all seen queens on TV or on YouTube or in your local bar, if they happen to be a bit bigger and they are wearing a breastplate, sometimes they are, the, the, the boobs are very, very kind of like central to their chest. They're not pro very proportionate. So I was wondering about what it would be like if I were to try one. And then here comes along this company on Amazon who sent us a message and said, okay, but we do these. Would you like one? And then obviously we were just like, yeah, we'll give this a fucking go. Okay, I've got my laptop here for, you know, facts and figures information. There's a video here about Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. I've been reading about that for days. That's not appropriate at all. We'll get rid of that. The name of the company is YRZG SAWJ, which is a mouthful. So I'm gonna just flash up some pictures. Obviously the link will be in the description to save you from typing all that out. There's a few of these companies. This one does all kinds of silicone based stuff. So you can get like face masks, you can get, they actually have probably more breastplates than I've ever seen on any of these online sites because there's, there's so many. There's ones that include the whole neck. There's ones that don't. They've got some here in a, oh, let's click on that one. Huge Z cup silicone breastplate. Punch it. Punch it. They've got like legs. You can get like a leg. There's some, I mean, there's obviously some very strange, there's some strange things on here, but anyway. So we asked if they would be willing to send us this particular set. In the cup that I've ordered and in the coloring, it comes to $185 and $4.99 shipping, which I think is a very comparable price for a lot of these kind of breastplates. But the thing I will say going forward is that you really want to do your research because that is a lot of money to spend on anything if you kind of like fuck it up. You want to make sure you do the research. So if you're coming to this video because you think like, oh, I'm kind of like a, a larger bird. I want some de details on like the proportion and stuff that's fine but the coloring you need to really kind of nail they only have three colors on here they have ivory white they have tan and they have brown between a discussion between nova and autumn and myself we came to the conclusion that i wanted ivory white which for now is okay but my foundation i use is slightly tan so why we didn't just go for tan i don't know i think based on the picture we thought that would be too dark so we went for ivory white which in retrospect was a mistake so here they are and oh this i can't even i cannot even tell you how heavy they are i've had to cover them with these like pasty things because obviously it's youtube 
and even fake booby nippers, they're not going to allow that, not going to happen. Do you guys remember little Nikki? <laughs> These are silicone breast forms, um, breast plates for cross-dressers, that's how they've listed it on their website. No oil silica gel filler. So you can generally get two kinds, I believe. You can get some that have like a silica kind of like gel inside them or cotton. And you can usually tell the difference straight away because when they're on, on a, a queen walking around, if they're really, really kind of like flobbity, they've got silicone in and they're really, really heavy. If a queen can like throw her body around super easy, they've probably got cotton in because they're a hell of a lot lighter. So the one kind of thing that you kind of immediately notice is the absolute weight of them. They also have like a nice clavicle in here. I don't know, how am I showing you this? This is tricky. I apologize for them having some makeup on them. They are slightly dirty because I've already tried them on, but there's a nice kind of like clavicle neckline thing going on here, which is quite standard for the nicer ones. Yeah, they're just like really like heavy jiggly booby boobs. As with a lot of these breastplates, they have a full neck on them. This one had a full neck and I've trimmed it down. I've trimmed it down because I've already done the footage of me trying it on. Charmaine has a pair of these. She actually has a pair in the same size as I do, which on me, they look more proportionate. On Charmaine, they look kind of like enormous porn star boobs, because obviously that's what Charmaine goes for. But Charmaine's left the whole neck in place. And the problem with a breastplate that has a full neck going all the way up, unless your taste, for example, having the full neck go all the way up will often push, if you've got a double chin, it will push it all the way up, which creates this kind of like giant bollock head situation. It's also kind of limited, it has limited practicality because if you're shooting from the side, you can see the seam, right? And no one's wearing a necklace up here. You'd wear a choker or you'd wear something down there. So I feel like if you're shooting straight on with the camera angle slightly up, that full neck can work, but it has limited like practical uses. So I've trimmed it down to allow for like a choker situation here. As with a lot of the higher end breastplates that are worth investing your money in, it's a very, very thick silicon, which you might imagine is not very breathable. And I've heard of Shah and Nova sometimes saying that their breastplates get really hot and sweaty underneath. The weirdest thing, when I tried them on, you'll see it in a second, it really wasn't that uncomfortable. It kind of just ev eventually felt like it was part of me. You were a part of me. A part that I could never live without. And I hope and I pray that I never have to. Kapkunka. Kapkunka. They are just very, very high quality. The, the, the thickness of the silicon being very thick means that they are not going to kind of like rip or tear very easily, especially if you're cutting them up. That's something else you want to really think about before you put it on is how you're going to cut the neck. And then you'll see again in a second that I would go ahead and trim the shoulders slightly to be in line with like a bra strap or something. But anyway, here you go. Here's the footage. We'll fl I'll flash it up now and you can see how these went down. Okay, hi. So here is your girl. Um, I'm in my sort of frow line geish. Very frau far bissener, ya. Ya ya. 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 Here's the deal. Next week we're going to be doing uh, three video. Well, it's going to be starting next week, three videos. And it's going to be Nova's going to be doing a tutorial of how to do Nova's face. I uh, have done one and it's going to be released just after. It's going to be how to do my face. And then we're going to, we're going to watch each other's and try and become one another. So it's like a three video little piece. This piece. This piece. I've just finished doing my tutorial. But I have actually been gifted a breastplate. Now, I will have sat down and explained all of this to you beforehand out of drag, but this is how I'm gonna be trying this on in a minute. So first of all, here is, here's your girl. Now, I don't ever wear a breastplate. I have ample meat there to create a quite a realistic cleavage. And I would, I would deign to even say that I'm fairly known for my wreck. Is that conceited or is it just the truth? Oh no, we're not being conceited, we're just being honest. Yeah, we're just being honest. <laughs> I have a tendency to get incredibly hot and sweaty um, in drag, especially in front of all the lights in our very small room. It's no secret, it's beauty's worst kept secret. If you've watched any of our videos, you will know that I so, I'm so moist and I'm just dripping. My face looks like an advertisement for lavatory cleanser. With each and every brush. So the idea of wearing a breastplate to me is horrendous, but I'm gonna show you this is the before and then I'm gonna go and put it on and we'll see how it compares and we'll do a side by side. I like to have this all open, it's aerated, it's very nice and I feel like it kind of looks natural and realistic and, and great anyway. So Corinne in her natural glory, thank you very, thank you very much, cheers. Oh, thanks for having, thank you, oh God. <laughs> There's a, Nova did a video before, there's some secret footage on our Patreon actually of Nova just in full naked like porn mode with those on. Oh my God which if you want to see Nova's nipples, then you can go ahead and 
go to the Patron, that's not really much of an incentive, is it? And Shah has a breastplate as well, but they're always so hot and sweaty that, I mean, uh, I, if I'm in one, I can only imagine. Anyway, I'm going to take this hat off um, to put it on, obviously. It's slightly glued at the side, but we'll see what happens. I'm imagining I'm going to come back and all my makeup will have rubbed off, but um, we'll see what happens. So, okay, I'm in the breastplate now. Here you are with actual... Oh, I feel like Charmaine. Look at... Look at them heave, got the heaving. <laughs> okay, so here's my takeaway from this. The weird thing is, they're not even particularly like warm. I thought I would be so hot and sweaty and gross. And they actually, it actually feels very comfortable. It's kind of like, it's not inhibited my movement. I thought I would be sweating and just feel really hideous, but I actually don't really notice it. If anything, if anything, it feels kind of cooling. I don't really understand how that can scientifically work, but it feels kind of like, it's cool against my chest, so I don't know, it's quite comfortable. I'm very surprised by that. The colour, I have ordered the incorrect colour. What I've, I think I'm going to do on Final Cut is adjust the colour to match my face, but um, this is not going to work for me. This, the colour would work for me if it was just my natural skin tone, but because of the colour of uh, foundation that I use, this doesn't match at all, so I would have to really do research if I was actually going to wear this all the time. The size is great. So these are a G, and there was an H, and I considered would an H not be more fitting? Because I am six foot two, and I'm incredibly wide, so I thought not even necessarily about the tit size, but just because of how I would have to get into this, being such a large person, that maybe I just want to go for the most enormous and even if they look pretty big, like it's just easier and, and more proportionate for me. But a G is perfectly fine. I am wearing a brassiere and they are maybe a little bit close together, which I could like adjust something in there because the, the dress is obviously pushing them together. It's a little bit tight, the dress. This zipper, someone commented and was like, I wish I had the fortitude and strength of Olympia's zipper. It's holding pretty good. You know, a G works pretty well. I think that the shape and size of them are pretty impressive and the kind of just feel of them. I don't know what the cotton ones feels feel like, but the, you know, the silicone ones are very, very... Well, you just don't want to stop, do you, really? But I think if I had gone for a, a better colour, a more, a more suitable colour for me, then um, they would be really, really effective. I can't get over it. I can see now why Charmaine's so obsessed with herself, amongst other reasons. But she has no reason to be at all. She stinks. I would have to cut the shoulder bit because you can kind of see it poking out in places. Obviously the hair covers it. For a video it's perfectly fine. Um, so you do have to adjust these according to like your shape and size and stuff and what you're going to wear. But I think honestly I'm really impressed with this. The heaving motion. <laughs> They're really really great actually. We just recorded a clip in the bathroom of me trying to get them on and it's perfectly fine for if someone gives you a quick hand. Um, or Nova can do it on her own easily enough now. I struggle because I've not done this before and it was an absolute nightmare. So that clip is gonna be on Patreon as well. Is this a woman? <laughs> Anywho, we'll do a side by side so you can see what it looks like with just contoured boobs versus this. But I feel like honestly, oh yeah, see at the back, you'd have to really sort out the back where that strap is. I'd need to cut this back a bit, which actually might make it easier to get on if I cut it back a little bit. But I think, yeah, I thought this would be a bit ridiculous, look a bit ridiculous, but I think it actually kind of works for a larger chick. So what do you guys think, new tits? Oh, I just wish that the choker wasn't on though, because it cuts off this area. I, I like having that bit really open for something like this. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Teats! Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is so dumb. What is my life? What is this? I feel like Dolly. So, okay, there we go. The colour obviously was a mistake. You could see some colour correction that I did, which means that it, they would look fine. If I was doing a video, they would be perfectly fine. The main takeaway for me was that the size-wise, they were great. They really were proportionate in that dress. Do I need them? I don't think so. I think also with the choker um, situation, I would like the option not to wear a massive necklace. I mean, Nova's always going to be wearing some really gargantuan, obnoxious, like AliExpress nightmare. So she's going to be fine because she's never going to go without. The link to this store is in the description. The, the specific one that I have got here, um, which worked real well for me. It was very, very easy to cut. I just used a standard pair, just a crappy pair of scissors. Just make sure that you go for the correct color. However, I am not going to try 
and put some makeup on because when I took them off I realized there was a whole bunch of makeup on so I'm feeling like makeup you could potentially apply makeup to these and then that would just solve the problem even if you get a color that's real close you could just add some extra makeup just to make it just really, really seamless. So let's just put this on, let's just see. I remember there was a queen, a, a YouTube queen, many moons ago called Misty Maven, and she used, she tried getting, um, oh my God, it literally paints on like skin. She tried to apply makeup to a breastplate. She couldn't get it to stick. That literally goes on like, can you see that? That is seamless. That goes on like skin. I kind of regret now not doing this whilst it was on me. But Christ, have a look! Let me just show you. Okay, so here we go. You can see that, look. I remember when, I think it was Misty Maven, she did it, she could not get it to stick and it came out, it came out off. Easy, you could do that. That's still kind of a bit wet, but especially because you're not seeing the entire thing, so you could even put it on and apply the makeup whilst it's on you, knowing like where a bra's gonna sit or where a dress is gonna sit. I think that's a real benefit. I don't know how, if that's something you could do to like a bunch of breastplates now, maybe they all do that, but I don't know. This pair in particular, makeup goes on it real easy. So that's a massive plus. And it's not gonna sweat off either. I feel like you'd have to experiment with like a setting spray or hairspray might be good to kind of put on it. So, thank you for coming for Tit Hour. Link in the description for the clue t-shirt for the breasts, for the breastplate. Thank you to YRZGSAWJ for sending me uh, the breastplate. No, Charmaine stacked it on, I'm sorry. I mean, they must be really chafing on Shah these days. So if you are new to the channel, then this is the kind of shit we do. It's always varied. I mean, for God's sake, it's never the same from one week to the, the next. Great parody coming up though, already written it. Already ordered in some uh, period costumes, which is something we've probably never uh, tried here before, but yeah, can't wait to get stuck into that one. Um, social media's here if you want to give me a follow. And we've got some Patron birthdays. So um, there'll be a message afterwards about how you can join the Novimpia cult lifestyle over at the Patron. And the top two tiers get birthday shout outs. So for Jelaine's partner, Dan, whose birthday was on March 1st, happy birthday, Dan. I hope it was a gorgeous day. And then we're skipping forward to March 5th. We've got the sad drunk. Um, I hope it was a happy, not a sad drunk birthday. Maybe just a happy drunk birthday would be nice. And also to Joey for March 5th. We've got David Hedman for March 8th. David's a brand new uh, cultist to the Patrons. So happy birthday, David. March 9th was Jameis. We spoke to him the other day. Happy birthday, doll. March 12th, we've got Joe and Amelia. I don't think you guys are related. I always say that. I don't know why I feel like people born on the same day are related. There's a conspiracy here. It's Hayden for March 13th. Happy birthday, Hayden. Very, very talented uh, cult member who sent us a bunch of lovely presents that he's handmade over the years. So thank you, darling. Um, happy birthday. And a March 14th for Liam as well. Hope you've all enjoyed this, ah, oh, what has it even been? Some kind of like trip down Booby Lane. And I would be uh, remiss if I didn't mention here. I'm just gonna take a moment here. Um, to mention that as I'm recording this, we are almost on 200,000 subscribers. And I don't think Nova and I ever thought that was even within the realm of possibility for us, just as two sort of dickheads on the internet. Um, but hopefully, ah, oh, there'd be egg on my face if I released this and we hadn't cr gone over that threshold. But thank you so much for um, for coming because it sort of like warmed our chilly hearts and it's, uh, it's gorgeous, so thanks. That's gonna be it in Puffins. Um, just remember though, if we don't cross paths again, then I thought the world of you. All right, cheers. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.